Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land. Please abide in your with Plus. Eden. Calm. Cool. Collected. I felt a little of adrenaline. That's bad. We want to be in control, not relying on raw frenetic energy, relying on our big old meat brain. 6 BGM. K Mez. With a fairly subpar. Uh, array here as far as statistics go um, Spider butt is fine Rate of fire is good damage is fine speed is below average and uh, something we'd like to work on but is not urgently required um, I Mean you obviously for yourself you can look at this run. It's not horrible. It's not even bad. It might be slightly below average, but it's probably within, you know, 5% of average, one way or the other. Um, and we have two item rooms on the first floor here that could totally change the timbre of the game. We have a, uh, we have a curse, but it's Curse of the Labyrinth, obviously. Um, so don't fight this boss just yet. Don't go fighting my boss. I won't go fighting your boss. Now, Tinted Rock could also change things. I will take just about to say whatever it had on offer is fine by me. Uh, almost enough HP to swing the dang old devil deal, man. But for now, just playing very, very, very coy. Definitely for now. Feels like one of those runs where, like, the first floor could totally dictate the way that it goes long term. Ace of Hearts, unhelpful. Unhelpful and uh, a prodigious waste of a key when we didn't think we could afford it necessarily. God's Flesh, um, I don't really like, to be honest, as far as items go. As far as uh, protein goes, I wouldn't know, but... Uh, no thanks, I'm full. Let's see what we got here. Ragman um, makes us extremely thankful in particular. Thank you. For the Mr. Mega pickup. We got pretty lucky there. That's We had the great combination of items for fighting this guy. Uh, and it's looking right now, in my opinion, like we're not going to be in a great spot for taking this devil deal, personally. I would rather you just bomb to yourself. Oh, we have the scissors, dude. Totally just realized. Um, we will bomb you, but I would also like you to give me bombs back, please. Thank you. Very nice. Not HP, by the way. Um, Krampus? Not Krampus. This is a shame, because I would love Succubus, but wh what are we supposed to do? Blow up our donation machine is like the only real answer that I, I think could have allowed us to get it. Maybe we're better off not having it to begin with. So just don't walk into it by accident. <laughs> I think I think I'm out. I'm ready to leave. Uh, HP is not good. Stats didn't really improve at all either. So it's a, it's a bit funky. I would never debate you on that specific issue um, and we really don't like a situation where we have not improved our DPS that's the big F you right now standard DPS when standard is not a good thing right now um, it's got me questioning our future with this run at the present moment but we're gonna stick to normal protocol Basically, as few rooms as possible, and we want these rooms to be as likely to pay out with greatness as possible. So I won't even open that golden chest until we get a key. That's the kind of run we're in right now. Very, very helpful again. I'm telling you, dude. I'm this run. It might look fine. Reserve your anecdote questioning for the next run, because I'm very, very concerned about where this one stands at the present moment. 
I don't even want to go to that cursed room, but now I gotta weigh the, you know, parameters. Like, maybe it's better to go to the cursed room. Um, and just hope that it's... A guppy or guppy related item. Cause a couple of... We're very lucky it's not the, um... It's not the flooded caves. If it were... You know, I would be... Even at 3 HP, I'd be looking at basically every room and being like, is this where it's all gonna fall apart? Okay, he's free. That's fine. Kick some bombs in there. I, I, I don't mind one enemy, one bomb. Come on, y'all. I'm worried they're gonna it, pull an Ant-Man on me. Get really big really fast, and then I don't know, it'll affect their speed in a weird way. I don't know the rules. Doctor's remote. Bit of a tough choice. We have two two cost spacebar items. I don't know which one is better. Honest. I I really I don't even have good reasoning. We should not well, I hate going through that room, but um all I can think of is, you know, do we prefer AoE or do we prefer like a single target hit? Even with bomb synergies, I don't know. Okay, mystery sack was definitely worth getting. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not beating myself up over it too much yet. I think we have enough bombs for now to maybe just say, you know what? Stick with the spider butt. But, oh, dude, thank you. Forget the shop. We don't have the money right now regardless. I would really, really, really love to see... An angel deal. I would not fight the angel statue, probably. It's that kind of run. Wow, where is our secret room? Now, lest you think I'm complaining too much in an unbecoming fashion of a debutante. Why are you so fast all of a sudden? Um, I haven't been hit. So, you know, there's something to, you know, sing uh, the praises about on this run. We also, you know, if we've gotten lucky in any specific avenue, it's definitely that we keep fighting bosses who give us bombs, which allows us to use bombs against them. Without feeling like we're gonna, you know, run out of resources. Still don't want to get hit by their hands. And their bombs might still do contact damage, but... If we wanted to be real petty, and I'm thinking about it, we could have sat there and farmed that guy. Okay, now we have HP and a deal with the angel. Will I fight an angel statue? No. Am I happy with the sensor? No. So everybody's unhappy. Let's continue. That's the spirit of this run right now. Yes, this could be big. Now, normally, this is where I'm fond of saying something like, well, we don't need that much to really take this run to greatness. That's not the case here. We need quite a lot still. The spirit heart is extremely nice, don't get me wrong. But we need rate of fire and damage, probably HP, definitely speed, and, and a defensive item. Now, we don't need all of those. <sighs> it's our first damage. We don't need all of those to win, but we definitely need some of them. <laughs> and we are, uh, as of right now, bereft of, of every single one of them, so... Um, I'm, I'm happy with the sensor. It's like an offensive defensive item. And anything that makes it less likely for me to get hit. This is broken stopwatch. I don't know why I was so excited about the sensor. Um, Dawn of the Dead theme song. Or 28 Days Later theme song. This is horrendous. We got very, very, very lucky. To have killed that uh, wall crawler before it caused us any more problems. But this will not last forever. We're on flooded caves right now. I think we're lucky to be doing, you know, as decently as we are. 
probably we're, we're getting very close to put up or shut up time. Where if the game doesn't give us uh, something that's a big improvement, we're going to run into a lot of trouble. You know what would be a, you know, big improvement? I'm just trying to think, like, honestly, give me, um, what is it? It's Pandemic or Toxic Shock that, that does damage to enemies in an AoE when we enter the room. If we're going to go for a weird AoE run, you know, don't leave me hanging. Let me actually, like, go go all the way with the theme, is my two cents. Okay, speaking of which, really would like HP and speed. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yo, okay. Um, I mean, the spirit heart is awesome. I, I forgot Ace of Hearts can do this. If we can't get any more, uh, if we can't get Blood Bag... We'll probably still consider this to have been a pretty good return on our investment. And and I do. Rest assured. That turned out way better than we ever would have expected it to. Now, we can't keep using one bomb per room in all likelihood. Eventually, it's gonna... There's gonna be some pushback there. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Thank God for the sensor, which is proving, like... You know, you can't judge a, an item on its merits, apparently. You have to judge it on the context in which it appears. Because right now, this item is way better than it has any right to be. You gotta be so close to death. That was the guy from earlier. But wait, there's more! Somewhere. Good lord. I just... You know, I, I'm trying not to be petty, but like... Any stat upgrade would be... Oh, I would just be over the moon. If you could just give me even the slightest mechanism by which to improve my station on this run. Because it looks good right now and I can't deny it, so I feel bad about complaining. Or it looks okay right now. But... We will hit a point at which it becomes terrible, you know? It's like you're looking at a, a wingless airplane. And you're, you know, it's at 30,000 feet. And you're like, what seems to be the problem? You're at 30,000 feet. Descending, sure, but there's still time to pull out of it. You, know, you only notice that it's screwed beyond belief once you get the FAA NTSB report afterwards, right? found that there was ice in the python tubes. Please? A shop, perchance, to dream? Another boss that drops uh, bombs that we can mill? I feel like we can't even take the pill. Because, oh, Halloween theme song? Because what if the pill is tears down? It wasn't, okay, all is forgiven. We have four bombs. Who is it? Gertie. Not a good boss. Um, just due to tankiness, but... You know, what are you, what are you supposed to do? You gotta get through it. I would use that exact same methodology forever. Because look at how long it would have taken us to go through this without this. Like, it would have it would have been forever. I don't expect to deal with the devil. Please, God, some DPS from the boss. Deal with the devil. We have the HP to sustain. I beg you. But it's unlikely. Sure. We got a shot speed increase. I'm starting to lose it just a little bit. And I, I gotta recognize that in me and then pull it back. Because... Uh, this is, we're, we're pulling up to extreme train wreck scenarios. What would make this a true train wreck? Um, this being a greed fight would be a good start. Okay, it's not, thankfully. I think you have to go for it. And I, believe it or not, I'm happy. 
Um, I wish, obviously, that we could get some form of damage as opposed to exclusively forever getting two spirit hearts per floor. Uh, but we do now have HP. Enough to, you know, if the if the mood is right. Help us out of a jam. So we don't want to step on this dude because he's going to shoot us. Well, whenever possible, trust me. I Nobody wants to step on these enemies more than me. I'm, just, I'm not sure what this guy does, so I'm not willing to risk the contact damage. This is fun. Isaac. Really appreciate it. Okay. Straw. Okay. It's the... Spider butt, but faster. Full stop. Totally happy with it. Our DPS is absolutely horrendous. I would not expect to kill many enemies with this, but to weaken them to the point where we can kill them more easily is plausible slash guaranteed. Um, this is really the floor where we're going to be expecting good stuff. Uh, and if we don't get it, I'm just here to let you know I'm going to become truly insufferable. Goathead. Of the most unbelievable importance right now. So thankful to have it. Whoa. More money. More bombs. Bombs in particular. This might be the last floor. Terrible. Um where we're so far behind on damage. So just to give me enough bombs to make it. Good lord. I'd be a very happy man. There's more enemies. Focus the one you can actually kill. Oh my god. Thank the lord above. You know, I don't even remember. Is it gives you uh, money or gives you flies when you pick up money? I'm willing to take a stab at it. I'm not willing to use another bomb for it, but don't use a key. Yo, let's go. Genius. Um, good, Really good start. I would say that's a very productive use of your limited resources. Congratulations. I will always be happy to use six or one bomb to kill six enemies. This seems like a good return on our investment. And I'm just praying to whatever you would like to believe in. Terrible start there. Um, that we got what it takes to just... Oh, I didn't even see you there, my friend. Just, just to make it to the boss... I'm willing. Verp. Power pill. Sounds great. Dude, he was confused. So am I, but for different reasons. Right now I'm confused as to why uh, my favorite video game of all time would mistreat me like this. With a run that has had no statistical change except for shot speed plus range. And luck. Don't forget about your 0.11 luck stat, NL. Over the course of 17 minutes of, uh, not agony necessarily, but anxiety. Even if at this point we get, like, Brimstone Mom's Knife, I will still count this as, like, one of the harder runs in the streak so far. We're only comfortable on HP because it's early. That It can change in a flash, man. Chariot, very nice. I'm not even talking about the fact that I still got to figure out where the heck my item room is. <laughs> Get crushed. And the shop, for that matter. Good God. And God love it. It's a surprise to find you can't stop it. I, I You know, okay, fine. We have no bombs, but let's do it. It's gonna take a while. 
That's okay. Please shoot. As long as we get him to shoot, he's pretty likely to kill his own minions. This fight will probably take us somewhere in the vicinity of two minutes or so. All I can say about that is, you know, we're lucky. We're lucky we have the straw, so it's as fast as two minutes, you know? Could easily be a, a lot worse. I just wish I could, like, reflect his own bullets back at him. Just wait on the straw. Pop it now instead. Strong. If we end up with, like, a totally impotent deal with the devil or angel, I'm not going to be despondent. If anything, I think I've learned uh, about myself that, you know, the longer a run of this variety goes on, the more um, steeled I get in my own reserve. To keep it going steady. Now. You know the deal. This run is still not good. And I want to make that as clear as, as mud, right? But we are now dealing with a run that has the potential. The potential. To actually kill enemies in a reasonable time frame. 11 rate of fire, 6 damage is still bad. For where, we, where we're at in the game. But we're starting to get there. Okay, you gotta be re-rolled. Blue Candle might be better, but I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to stick with the... I'm willing to stick with Straw for now. Give me Sack of Sacks. It's tight, though, because it doesn't really... It's not an offensive-related item. But that's kind of the theme for this run. Um... We still have HP to go. Somewhere. Thank God the straw has given us a couple of half spirit hearts. It's generous, believe it or not. Mystery sack. Doing some payouts. Very appreciative. Give me a single bomb here. You're alive. No bombs. That's A. Keep it up. All right, Sulfuric Tears. Um, I, I don't like them that much, but they're not bad. Just a little bit, like, not very good for what we're dealing with right now. I'll do one more room to look for... I will look for a bomb for a long time if we have to. No, that's not true. I will not. Surely there's got to be one in the shop, right? Go ahead, I'll wait. The stars. Well, it's better than uh, two of hearts for now. This feels like a secret room. Told ya. Halloween theme song. Yo, it's a key and a little bit of cash. At this point, I have to acknowledge, we've finally been given the tools, okay? Now, they didn't give us uh, a blueprint for a house and, uh, you know, a pneumatic drill and a fancy craftsman bandsaw. You know, they told us how to build a lean-to and they gave us a pointy stick. But hey, at least we have the pointy stick. Previously, we were just trying to bite branches in half to make our shelter. Now, at least we got something. So I'm, I'm not going to complain about only having a pointy stick. What I'm going to do is say thank you for the pointy stick where previously there was not. They never want to make it easy, do they? Because <laughs> blank card is so good. You know, I think we have to. And then, uh, sure, blank card, two of spades. See ya. Forget the, forget the stone chest, we tried. Genuinely. Now we're free. And we got goat heads, man. We got goat heads. What does that mean? Future deals with the devil. So be conservative about your HP. The run... 
I can't stress enough, it's still, like, pretty bad. And in fact, now they're giving me another cursed choice with Tammy's head. Tammy's head is, like... It's a pretty okay item for us. You can see, by the way, our DPS when we have no flies is nothing. Look at this. This is what we're staking our claim on. This is what we're excited about. The only reason I'm doing it is because I'm just, you know, thinking I might want Tammy's head later. Not offense. I, I don't know, man. This is like one of the most daunting puzzle-solving runs I've had in a while. Where there's so many opportunities for right choices, wrong choices, cho choices that would be right in X situation if Y shows up. But if Z happens, then you're, you know, <clears throat> you want something else on top of that? Like, it's a whole, it's a, it's a mess. This run is a cluster F. Play the seed through yourself. Ten people play it through, they're going to have ten different runs. I promise you that. Now, Dark Bomb is doing incredible work for us. Very happy to have 12 uh, Demon Hearts, or Spirit Hearts, I should say. Blank Card Alges, extremely great. We will be very aggressive when it comes to deals with the Devil. Because DPS is the be-all, end-all right now. Our HP is good enough. We need to be able to kill enemies more quickly. In order to not be at risk of demise. So this, by the way, not really what we're looking for. Now, if there is a god anywhere above, below, between, in the fifth dimension, lying behind a supernatural curtain that blurs human perception, please, please, please do not give me Krampus. You can feel free to dunk on me with irony, okay? Yo, you didn't want Krampus? Here you go. Here's nothing. Oh, fair enough, you know? I'm not gonna ask for the world. All I ask is that you at least roll the dice on what item to give me. And don't give me either Lump of Coal or Krampus's head. Now, in the end, we'd like Lump of Coal. Wouldn't say no to a Lump of Coal. But we really, I mean, even now, I'm like, I'm not convinced that we want to keep Blank Card. Blank Card Alges is insanely good. But maybe we'd be better off with Tammy's head. And just holding an Alges rune to use on one of the rooms where it actually is most likely to be meaningful. Small Rock. Life goes on. Long after the thrill. I'm living in... That's not a Bob Dylan song. That's by John Cougar Mellencamp. Wow, we are just... Crushing. One Alge's rune has uh, allowed us to... Take out approximately... Well... 20% of... Uh, Mom's HP. What? What is this horrible noise? Help. <laughs> Gonna let it rock. Let it roll. Let the devil deal. Come and save my soul. Can't deal with this 11th grade of fire. Please give me some more or throw me in the mire. John Jaguar Mellencamp. Schmidt. His name is my name, too. Crap. I just... Just want to kill the boss. Okay, cool. I'd just like to kill the boss, please. All right, one of these days, if we had more bombs, they would work for us. I just, uh... You know, the enemies don't get any easier to kill as time goes on, so... Oh my god. Don't do this to me. 
I knew it. Oh, you don't want Krampus, huh? Heard you loud and clear, good buddy. 10-4. Oh, I swear to God. All right. What's the game plan? What have I been hit by? May I ask you? The game plan is... I mean, we're survivable. That's the one thing I'll say. Dark bum is a... It's a blessing. Yo. I don't know, man. Maybe we do want the tick here. <laughs> it does take off 15% of a boss's HP. Can't even open those. Basically, I'm thinking we... Okay, right here, you use the stars card. The stars. You wanted to spit you out far away. And closer to the boss room. Far away from where you are, close to the boss room. I'm not going back to open those stone chests. If you want to victim blame and say, Well, what if they have Cricket's head? More power to you, buddy. What if they don't? Okay? Two can play this game. Literally, it has co-op. Yo, thank you. Blow this thing up. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. We still have not fought Krampus. So at some point, you know, you, you expect it to happen. So... I'm not even being, like, or at least trying to be, like, negative. Maybe a Krampus fight is a good thing, assuming it gives us Lump of Coal. Maybe that's what we want. You will never get this. Sensor has been, like, low-key, uh, a B-plus item. I was gonna say A-minus, and then I said, nope, you'll regret it later. Can't just go giving an A minus to everything modestly above average, can you? Dark bomb, please. You know, <laughs> I'm tempted. <laughs> tempted by the rumor the spikes. Tempted, but the viewers were psyched. Health is going down. Run gave you a frown. There's no other. Tempted by the room of another. I just wanted. I, I wanted. I saw like a, an exit. And I said to myself, maybe. Just maybe. It's going to be the exit that saves me. Don't disappear on me. This isn't how I go. Thank you for sitting there through all the bombs. That's all I could ever ask for. I'm just like slowly dying inside. Don't mind me. He's done it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. How many more... Items that are not statistical improvements can they give me? Dude, I'm not- no, I'm not taking death's list. We can't be beggars and choosers when it comes to the order in which we kill enemies, okay? Thank you for the bombs. Excuse me, we- oh, maybe we don't have the scissors anymore. Disregard. That's- that's totally my bad. Vroop. I mean, we need algaes. Do we care about stars enough? Yeah? I'd rather teleport, I think, than have a, a, a lemon party or an explosive diarrhea. Dark bum. You're, like, my only friend. You know that, right? It's you and me against the friggin' world, buddy. Oh, yo, it's bad stopwatch. That's why those guys are moving fast. A few rooms ago, a.k.a. half an hour ago. Well, we could use that to open the stone chest. I'm digging this fast music. Gunk, 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 gunk. Alright. 
I say I'm digging the fast music, they slow it right down. I understand. It's just gonna be one of those runs where if I say don't give me a tears upgrade, they'll give me a tears upgrade. Hey, don't give me a deal with the devil that has mom's knife, the single best item in the game, haha. <laughs> I'm not that concerned about that, to be honest. Like, I, I don't think that's actually catastrophic. See, I don't want you to think that it's just like, oh, NL is always complaining. I'm only complaining about the stuff that's relevant. Like, for example, our speed having been the same for the whole run. That's bad. Uh, our rate of fire got worse. I know that it's because of uh, Death's Touch. It was either our tears get worse or our damage stays the same. So I, I made the Devil's Gambit, and I would do it again in a friggin' heartbeat. Rest assured. By the way, I'm out, boys. Where's my algis? The stars. Did I take Verp with me by accident? Life goes on, but also give me back my rune. Thank you. Well, ay, 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 ay. Oh, yo, yo, mom's pearl, pretty important. You, good. Why? Nothing like walking out of a room with spikes, having momentum, and then being placed back into the room with the spikes, like. I don't even want to place explosive diarrhea because I know we're probably going to have to leave, you know, and come back to this room accidentally in the future anyway. You're not even a stone chest. What am I talking about? Where are we going? I still think we're fine. I do feel the blood pressure rising. Got unlimited bombs on this floor. Don't be shy about using those bad boys. Even just to thin the hurt a little bit is acceptable. Forget the key. I'm not going back. This isn't how I go. Ninety-nine bombs. Ninety-nine bombs. This is our final deal with the devil. I really think um, it has to be Krampus. For peak irony, it wouldn't make sense if it were anything but Krampus. That's my two cents. Surprised to not see a Tinted Rock here. You know, life goes on, but... A lot of rocks is all I'm saying. A lot of rocks on this room. Wouldn't have killed you, presumably, to make a single one of them a Tinted Rock. I'm not trying to be petty about it or anything like that. I just thought, you know, have I, have I done a bad job by your standards? Have I not deserved a Tinted Rock? Is it unreasonable for me to assume that maybe I could get my second uh, damage upgrade over the course of the entire game? Is that, if, I mean, if that's unfair, like, I don't want to be seen as, be you know, being the squeaky wheel just to get the grease. It's all right. Sometimes in life, you, you know, you're going to get telefragged. It's just science. Starting to notice, a lot of the enemies in this game, uh, when you have, like, the same DPS you'd have on the second floor in a lot of other runs, turns out these enemies are, are kind of difficult. I didn't realize. You know, I've lived a life of naivete. Dude, I am now starting to freak a little bit. I wish we still had algas. What did I do with you? My, my wonderful rune? Sorry, what I meant to say is, where did you go, my lovely, I want to know. Where did you go, oh, 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 Okay, we need DPS, obviously. Do we need an ability to fly? Yes. Guess what? I'm not taking it. Why? Because we can't friggin' afford it. Are you, are we watching the same run? Don't stay in there, you madman. Thanks, thank you, Golden Bombs. I wanna know, where did you go? Oh, oh, oh. Classic. Whatever. I was born in the wrong generation, man. 
Nobody ever sings the Hathaway classics anymore. The stars. Every single blue fire is a gift. We, we placed that in the wrong place, but it worked out. Every single blue fire is a golden gift. Every, every spirit heart is a, a loaf of lembus bread given from Bilbo to Frodo at the zenith I heard a heart no it was a bomb uh, of rising action in a J.R.R. token novel I know what I said brain is friggin overclocked dude sulfuric tears opened the door for us that's a new one Nice. Not bad, actually. Sure. Thank you. No complaints. Still no complaints. You know what? You ever hear the expression, uh, beggars can't be choosers? I need some means to deal damage. Last time I checked, uh, Bob's brain does damage. I wonder if our sulfuric tears will extinguish blue fires. If they do, we've been making a couple of mistakes. I think we're better off, and I mean, I didn't need, probably need to explain it after this, but I think we're better off using High Priestess uh, than trying to teleport, because at least High Priestess, when it gets a kill, it, uh, you know, moves us closer to being at the boss fight no matter what. That's fine. Nope. Nope. Yes. Okay. Use a little bit of good old-fashioned Canadian ingenuity. Brought us back. Yo, please. Acceptable speed. Very recent innovation. Very lucky Bob's brain shot. Oh, my word. Thank you, sack of sacks. Been so long. I'm glad to be back. I've come to accept that this is one of those runs that's just never going to get there. And they happen from time to time. You don't want to believe in their mythology, but here they are. Present and accounted for. This run is never going to be good. It will only ever be good enough. I mean, it, this is like... You blank card Emperor. It took me a second to realize how good that was. We probably should have stuck with High Priestess. Namely, because there's no... Good reason not to. So theoretically, here's how... It, we're on boss rush right now. And we only got to fight two bosses. Between them, we get four items. So try not to screw it up. We've learned a very valuable lesson about expecting items to be decent. <laughs> Namely, the lesson is, uh, you can't. We've made it through the hardest part without taking damage. That's surprising. Alright, this dude is getting Bob's brained. He's getting bombed. He's getting shot. Every combination of things that we can do to this individual to stop them. Before they stop me. I can't believe... Uh, you know, I, I can believe, by the way, that we're going to win. I can't believe that the run stayed this bad this long. And I know you probably nobody likes to hear somebody complain. I'm mostly bringing it up. Imagine you were watching your favorite sports team and they threw like, you know, 10 interceptions. You would be like, yo, what the heck? The lovers. Check this out, you know? I should have blank carded it. Never mind. Thanks for the spiders, my dude. 
But they still won. You know, you would be like, man, I can't stop talking about that game. It sucked, but we won. Okay. I mean, the mind is useless. Pyromaniac is also useless. Would have been useful for a while. We certainly do not want a tiny planet, even with the tiers upgrade. So here's what we're going to... You know what? I walked into this room, and I said... We're going to see if it's worth fighting. I have decided it's not worth fighting. So, Fate's Reward. Relying on you to raise our damage by about 2%. We still have six bombs. Where, where did Bob's brain go? Oh, there it is. It's back. We're going to win. This is amongst the most deserved of all of our wins, without a doubt. It still sucks. And yet, here we are, using predominantly Bob's brain to deal damage. That's what this run is. Is me looking at where Bob's brain is. Shooting in a different direction than I am facing So that Bob's brain can actually get the hit get me out. We're the best. Thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did click the like button. It's a great deal of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya